on parade at Rangatai for the last time before going overseas is one of New Zealand's aerodrome construction units. Men who are leaving behind them these exhibition memories. Men with special skill for a special job. Bulldozers aboard, the unit follows. They go to prepare more striking bases on New Zealand's outer defences. The Royal New Zealand Air Force must have more camps, landing grounds, hangars, workshops, radio and meteorological stations. And these are some of the men who will make and maintain all this essential ground equipment. They line the rail to say goodbye. Aerodrome builders off to prepare the ground for happy landings. Here among the pines and sand hills at Otaki is the Wellington Children's Health Camp, a camp where children in need get a real chance to regain health and strength. In this small and ever-changing community of children is everything they require for their health and happiness. First, food. Milk is the most important part of their diet, and they get nearly a quarter day each. And plenty of raw fruit, fresh vegetables, wholemeal bread, butter, cheese, eggs and a little meat. The camp's modern kitchen is well equipped to cook for a staff and a hundred children whose appetites are sharpened by the fresh air and exercise. Dinner time, and these happy expectant faces show it's the most popular time of the day. Some of these children are just in need of a holiday. Some are convalescent. But most of them who come here from Wellington have suffered from wrong diet. They are in need of the right kind of food, and here they get it. With dinner over, it's rest time. An hour's rest for everyone in the large circular dormitories. Good food, fresh air, rest and exercise soon build up their strength. They even get rest and exercise at the same time. This is not a time-saving device, though there's something in the idea. A very necessary requirement for good health is a happy environment. There are games to be played in the sand hills and companions to play with. Perhaps home life, as most of us know it, is lacking. But the camp conditions are those which these children should have had at home. There's healthy play and work in school. All play and no lessons would set these children back in their schooling. So they have a school all of their own with three teachers. It's specially designed to let in fresh air and sunshine. Good health is essential to good progress at school. And our children's futures depend on both. The children's weight is important and it's watched carefully. After about six weeks in the camp, most of these children will go home pounds over their normal weight. And they'll go home happier too, better fitted for the future. <laughs> Lieutenant Upham VC marches at the head of his platoon in the Western Desert. They are going on reconnaissance duty during the large scale maneuvers which preceded the big push in Libya. The platoon embusses and Lieutenant Upham climbs aboard to direct the driver to the point from which he will start his reconnaissance. The platoon fans out to advance once more under Upham's command. Attacking Malay in Crete, Lieutenant Upham led his platoon without support of other arms in an advance through 3,000 yards of territory defended all the way by the Nazis' airborne troops. He personally put out of action three machine gun posts with hand grenades. This is Lieutenant Charles Upham of the first echelon. Christchurch man, high country shepherd and musterer, hero of innumerable exploits in the ranges of Crete, awarded by His Majesty the King, one of the two first VCs of the second NZEF. A New Zealand officer training his men for the big push in Libya. <laughs> 